Morning risers out there this week, you'll have a chance to see Mercury pair up with the moon. And this is fairly exciting because Mercury can be kind of hard to spot on its own. So having the moon there will help guide you to the planet. So early risers, get up, look east in the morning to see the pair that's before sunrise. The moon is going to help point the way to Mercury, which is going to be fairly low on the horizon. You'll want to make sure that you're looking east to see the two pair up. November 2nd, the moon is going to be a fair amount above Mercury, but Mercury will still be directly below. And then November 3rd, they'll be paired up pretty closely together. The waning moon is going to be pretty thin and Mercury is tough to spot, so binoculars might help you out a bit. Other things to see this week, evening stargazers. You want to look toward the waxing moon once we've gotten past that new moon, and you should be able to find Venus too. So look southwest during the evening. That's November 6th, November 7th. The moon is going to be below and right of Venus on the 6th, and then by the 7th, the two are going to be really close together. By the way, last week, we had a solar flare, and that gave us a chance of seeing the northern lights. It wasn't a slam dunk northern lights forecast, but still, Stacy caught this awesome photo of the lights south of Ludington with a meteor in the picture for good measure.